Alright, g'day everyone and welcome back to another Marvel's Avengers news update video. In today's video, I have really something special to show you guys, and it is the 2021 content roadmap. Now, of course, we know this came out last uh, last month, but it has finally been updated today with some very exciting news and uh, sh showing us some uh, things that are going to be coming in the game very relatively soon. So, uh, I hope you guys go on to enjoy the video. If you guys do, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you guys do. But now let's get straight into it. So today in 2021 roadmap, content roadmap has been updated guys in the weekly war table blog. And uh, I'll do a video going over the war table blog a little bit later on. Um, but in this video, I just want to go over the roadmap, the, what has been updated. So it goes on and shows us that it has been launched. Uh, the Obviously the Operation Future and Perfect for Hawkeye in March has already been launched. It, it basically crosses that off essentially. Uh, and, and then it goes into April, which is of course this month. Now that goes on with the Tachyon Anomaly event. Now it says players any combination of your favorite heroes. So as you guys can see on the roadmap itself, it says four, it has four Iron Mans. So you can do any combination you want. You can have two Iron Mans, two Hulks, three Iron Mans, one Kamala, you know, any combination that you guys would like to play with essentially. Also it says Tachyon missions scale from power levels one to 100. So basically, even if you just start the game, you will be able to play a Tachyon Rift mission, which is very exciting for you. If you guys want to grind those, um, grind those uh, legendaries and exotics uh, essentially and then it also uh, going on back to the roadmap uh, blog that we had uh, in last month uh, just to sh tell you guys again so during this event tachyon rift missions will appear more often and will be scaled for power levels 1 to 100 so more players can experience them and have event specific rewards so we're going to be having event spe specific rewards uh, during this event since launch, we have heard players ask if more than one of the same hero can be present in the strike team. We're happy to announce that during the te Temporal Assault event, you'll be able to play multiple of the same hero in the Avengers Initiative. If you always want to see what a team of four Hulks looks like, now this is the event for you. So, it goes, uh, so... Yeah, it's, it's, it's basically that is what it says, guys. So the Tachyon Anomaly event arrives this month and the Red Room Takeover event is coming in May. While you can stay tuned for more information on specific dates, ready up uh, or your favorite hero and brainstorm some cool group co compositions. So like I said, uh, Tachyon Anomaly event coming this month, guys. Um, I, had a, <laughs> I had a bit of a uh, sad uh, theory uh, a couple of weeks ago that maybe, you know, it might, it might be delayed until May, but no very good that this is still coming in April or May. Obviously, it did say it was coming in spring, uh, and it is looks like it is staying true to that. So, coming in May will be the Red Room Takeover. So, enter the Red Room with new themed Harm Room content and the new Hero Outfits. Now, I've already done videos going over these already, um, but uh, of course, those new Hero Outfits are the start of the MCU Outfits as well. And we're also going to be getting animated nameplates during that event as well. So, a lot of cool stuff to look forward to, guys. Uh, if you guys are excited, let me know. What are you guys most looking forward to? How are you going to run your strike teams as well um, during this Tachyon Anomaly event? Now, I don't know if it's just going to be multiplayer only uh, for the Tachyon Anomalies or if you'd be able to play it by yourself with single player and you know, you'd know be able to choose to have four Hulks on your strike team if you're playing by yourself. I'm not too sure about that. Um, I'm guessing we'll get more information as the time, as, you know, as the future progresses. Uh, they did say in last week's war, uh, in, in last week's stream, I should say, developer stream, that we're going to be getting some more information this week, uh, or tomorrow, essentially, for the next uh, DLC drop, which will obviously be the Tacky on Anomaly event. Now, going on by this roadmap, guys, if we had March, April, May, it looks like the Cosmic Cube might come in June, West, Wasteland Patrol in July, War for Wakanda in August. Now that is by what we can see from here. If it's obviously it hasn't been, uh, that hasn't, that Summer and Beyond hasn't been updated. So it hasn't, we don't know when it's coming. We don't know what date, what, we know what, what months are they coming. I'm sure they'll be updated, uh, you know, as soon as they know. Um, and it's pretty cool that they're like, you know, they've announced when these events are going to be coming. So Tachyon Anomaly coming late this month, guys. Can't wait to see it. Um, I'll definitely be streaming it, and I uh, hope you guys are excited for it as well. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to say a big thank you for all the Jedi Council members that have joined the channel members uh, recently. Thank you guys so much. It does help out the channel a lot. If you guys would like to join the Jedi Council, there is a link in the description below. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.
I'll see you guys in the next one, and as always, happy gaming.